Well, hello, my name is Marvin McKenzie, and I uh, wanted to show you something I was received. A just got a brand new uh, uh, Damascus knife, skinning knife. Just got brand new, just received it last night. Got that Damascus blade. This is done by Tooth and Nail, is the name of the company that uh, I uh, that got the knife from. This was a gift to me. And I really like this scout um, sheath that comes with it. You wear it horizontally on your on your belt. However, it's not as tight as I wish it would be. And uh, so I've watched a couple of videos on uh, YouTube now on how to wet form a sheath. And so I'm going to go ahead and and uh, try that out today. Um, so initially, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this sheath in water. I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to uh, use olive oil to protect and coat my uh, my knife blade and then cover it, wrap it in cellophane. I'm going to soak the uh, sheath in warm water for about a minute or two. And then having this wrapped up with the cellophane and all of that, I'm going to, after it's all wrapped up, I'm going to put it back in, insert it back into the knife blade and then just begin to wet mold and work it so that I can mold it together. <clears throat> and I'm um, going to give that a try. Okay, so I've soaked my leather now and uh, wrapped my knife in the cellophane, covered it with the olive oil, and then wrapped it in the cellophane. I'm just going to slip it in there. Fellow said, uh, be careful not to tr put the knife in too deeply as that could damage the leather, cut and damage the leather. Don't want to do that for sure. And then you just work this leather over and then form it to the knife, his blade as best as I can. Pay particular attention. Spots like this. All right, so it's the next day now. I have um, finished the operation of the uh, of the wet forming of the sheath. Uh, I left it out, uh, gave it 24 hours to dry, and uh, so now it is uh, finished. It sits in there real good. I, I it's to be honest, it's a little. It kind of shakes a little bit, but it doesn't come out. A um, couple of things that I learned by doing this. Um, when I when I wrap this in cellophane, I probably put too much cellophane on so that especially because when I wrapped it around and then I had it folded over on this end. And so what happened is there is right now there's a bulge right here in this spot because it's form fitted not only to the knife, but to the knife with the cellophane on it. So it seems to me like when to do this in order to make it work really, really well, a person would want to be sure that uh, the cellophane seals it so that it's sealed from, protected from water, but he's going to want to have just enough cellophane to do the job because too much of it actually creates bulk uh, in the form fitting. But... I like the way it worked really well. Very, very simple process. Um, really, really easy to do. I'm a little bit of an impatient kind of guy, and so the waiting 24 hours was hard on me. But uh, it's a done project. Really, really simple to do.